The Fix by Declan Hill is one of the most controversial and inflammatory books ever published on the subject of soccer. Delving into the seedy underbelly of the sport, it brings to the surface the reality that match fixing and corruption are rife in world soccer, from low level amateur leagues to the World Cup. Declan Hill joins me in studio now. Declan, uh, the, the, the big question that everyone's asking right now is with the World Cup only a few weeks away, will this World Cup be fixed? Look, I, I can't, and I, I refuse to speculate. The stuff that I talk about is so controversial that I don't go in and into speculation. But here's the unfortunate guarantee that I can give you, 100%. There will be the same Asian match fixers that have gone to the under-17, the under-20, the Women's World Cup, the Olympic soccer tournament, and past World Cups for the last 20 years. I guarantee they will be there. I guarantee they will be approaching dozens of players on different teams. They'll be approaching the referees. Will those guys take their money? I, I, I don't know. I, I really hope they do not, but I know that they'll be there. And I know that FIFA has done nothing effective to stop them from being there. Now, now why is that? Now, I know Patini at UEFA mm -hmm. has. He's, he's spoken to you personally. You've spoken to him. You've um, uh, hosted commissions over there. Why is Michel Platini so progressive? Set Blatter, for example, in FIFA, still once again sitting back in his, in his big house in Switzerland and saying, there's no problem here. Look, uh, uh, look I, I, I I'm genuinely don't know. And I, I'm not trying to be disingenuous. I've read Andrew Jennings' books. I know the allegations of corruption in and around FIFA. But, but what I write about I isn't that. What I'm writing about is about a separate group of Asian match-fixing criminals that have such chutzpah. These guys go around like giving out their business cards. <laughs> like the World Cup, uh, the Women's World Cup in 2007 that I report upon in my book they were giving out their passports to the players. Like, like, it's not that these guys are a secret. Uh, you know, when I met Blatter in February 2008 at the headquarters in, in Zurich, you know, we start the uh, interview, which goes on for an hour and a half, and he goes, oh, you want to talk about the Asian match fixers? I've known about those guys since the early 1980s. <laughs> and I'm like, well, if you've known about them since the early 1980s, what have you done? But I'm, I'm, I'm honestly scratching my head as to figure out why you have a day reaction like Platini, like, this is a problem, we're not going to put up with this, and a night reaction of Blatter and FIFA saying, we're going to media manage this problem. <laughs> we're not actually going to put an integrity unit in. We're not actually going to pay the players directly. I mean, this is... This would, is would that be the solution? Absolutely. For, for the World Cup, for example, uh, uh, so... Literally. All the money comes right through FIFA, directly to the players. The yes. associations are an aside to this. Look, what happens now, and this is the boggling fact, is you can be a player at the World Cup running onto the pitch in a stand that's just full, broadcast around the world, billions of dollars in sponsorship. You can be that player, and you cannot know how much money you're going to get paid or even if you will get paid at all. I'm talking about the dynamic of a team that's relatively strong but is badly paid. I'll give you an example of a team. I don't think, uh, I, I really hope they would not be corrupted, but uh, that I would red flag right away. Honduras. Uh, Honduras, most of their guys are playing in Honduran teams, and I guarantee you they don't make more than a couple of hundred bucks a week. So I know the Asian guys. They took me in as part of their gang. I, I, you know, I wore wires. Uh, I recorded their meetings and stuff before the last World Cup. They will go to these guys and they'll say, let's do the business. You know, I'll give you the first couple of games, do whatever you can, but you know, you're probably not gonna be in a position on your third game. Just do the business. And then your biggest problem is how do I spend the money? Right. At the moment, many of these guys, their problem is just getting paid. There's a quote in the book where yep. um, a renowned match fixer says, every tournament, every cup, every league in the world can be fixed. Yep. Um, and, but he's not saying every player and no, every, every game. Not every league, but within that league. With exactly, that. Yes. Now, now, are the, are the top players being targeted or are they going to be looking at the World Cup and saying, okay, we're not going to even try and go to Italy or Germany. We're going to focus on a North Korea, on a Honduras, for example. Yep. I mean, it must be much easier to fix those games and those teams than perhaps the bigger club. A couple of things. First of all, the fixers have been approaching uh, teams since the Under-17 World Cup. And they're not just approaching those to fix games the Under-17. That's obviously profitable. They're trying to establish relationships with these young players right. all the way up. A uh, big scandal right now in, in UK with yep. uh, Lord Trisman, who uh, has resigned from his post as the head of England's 2018 World Cup. Mm -hmm. um, he was caught on tape talking to a, a, a young lady, well, not so young actually, mm -hmm. who he, he was at one point apparently having an affair with. He said off the cuff 
Well, I've heard that Spain are trying to pay off referees at this year's World Cup by using the Russians. Uh, right. Firestorm of media jumps all over Lord Trisman, but what I can't believe is there's so few stories out there actually saying, well, maybe what he's saying is true. Should we not be investigating that? Is that a concern to you? I mean, Absolutely, is, yeah. these are, this is Spain, European yeah. champions. Yeah. And yeah. reading this book, I wouldn't put anything past any association. 2002, Salt Lake City Olympic. We know there was fixing going on. We know the FBI has identified the Russian godfather that had close connections with their sporting administration that was arranging fixes for the French Federation. It, is it just coincidence that we see exactly the same pattern in Treisman's allegations? Maybe it is. The book is The Fix, Soccer and Organized Crime. Uh, it's not only a, a fascinating read, it's a very important read, I think, for all, all sports fans, not just soccer fans. Mm -hmm. So I implore you to, you to buy this. Declan Hill, thank you very much. Thank you very much.